let's continue reviewing VS Code Neo Vim extension. And another thing that I always do before start using Vim is I redefine motion keys, because for me it is much more convenient to press H, J, L and semicolon to move around the file instead of pressing default motion keys that are H, J, K and L. But of course this is only my personal preference, you can continue using default motion keys. And I'm just going to show the way how we can redefine default Vim bindings by using Vim configuration file. So first of all we have to figure out the path to the default Vim configuration file. Let's open up new Vim docs. Let's go to user documentation. Right here let's search for starting page. Open it up. And in here we're gonna have to search for initialization startup. And inside this section we can find path to the default Vim configuration file depending on the operating system. And by the way, besides using Vim script to configure Vim, we can also use Lua syntax to configure new Vim. So I'm going to use Lua, which is more modern way to configure Vim. So as we can see, default Vim configuration file on macOS is stored inside .config and Vim folder. And it should be called init.lua. So I'm going to create the folder and Vim inside .config folder. And inside of nvim folder I'm going to create configuration file with the name init.lua. And then let's open up this file in your editor of choice. I'm of course going to use VS Code. Firstly I'm going to add a helpful comment just to indicate what the key bindings we're going to redefine will be responsible for. And now to redefine keys by using Lua we're gonna have to write the following vim.keymap dot set and as the first argument this method accepts list of modes in which we would like to remap the key. So since I would like to navigate around in the normal mode as well as in visual mode when we are selecting text I'm going to specify two modes in here n which is normal and v which is visual. The second argument will be the new key that we'd like to use and the third argument will be the key that we are about to overwrite. So since I want to use J to navigate left, I'm going to use J instead of an H, which is a default key to navigate left. And the same thing I'm going to do with the rest of motion keys. So to navigate down, I'm going to use K instead of J. To navigate up, I'm going to use L instead of K. And finally to navigate right, I'm going to use semicolon instead of L. After we save configuration file in order for these changes to take effect, we also have to reload VS Code. Let's do so by running reload window command or by manually quitting and reopening VS Code. So as we can see, new mappings work great. But in case for you it didn't work for some reason, we can also specify pass to configuration file manually. For this we have to open our VS Code settings, search for the setting with the name NeoVim init vim pass. Here will be three different settings for each operating system. And then we have to manually specify the pass to the vim configuration file in the corresponding input field depending on your operating system. So that's it for this lesson. And let's continue modifying Vim configuration file in the next one. Link to the source code of this playlist will be in the video description.